What is new in SOLIDWORKS 2023? I'm pretty sure you are no longer asking yourself that because you attended lots of presentations from SOLIDWORKS, from Trimac, from your local reseller, and you saw everything that is in there, or you read the What's New document. Well, it's May. Um, we are already at Service Pack 2, and I'm talking about what is new and undocumented in SOLIDWORKS 2023. You will see three videos, each and every one of them focusing on a major improvement that is not listed in this document. In this video, we will be talking about improvements under the hood for opening parts very, very fast. So if I'm going through this document and I'm looking for, um, let's say, uh, SOLIDWORKS Fundamentals chapter, mm, nope, nothing about improvements other than performance improvements when manipulating views. Uh, what about parts and features, section view performance improvements, but nothing related to parts opening faster. So that being said, let's uh, do a little test. So I open side by side SOLIDWORKS 2022 and SOLIDWORKS 2023. You can see them open together uh, and we will open one part in each version, hopefully in the same time. So on the left side, I have SOLIDWORKS 2022 service pack five. On the right side, I have SOLIDWORKS 2023 Service Pack 2.1. Uh, and um, this is the part. I'm going to click and I'm going to click. Let's see which one opened faster and by how much. So SOLIDWORKS 2023 already opened, and uh, for 2022, we're still waiting. I'm going to speed up this video so you don't have to wait to see the results. And finally, the part got opened in SOLIDWORKS 2022 also. Uh, one thing that's interesting here, notice we have 5,834 bodies on each part, many of them surface bodies. So that's one of the many reasons why these parts are slow. So this is the first video covering the first undocumented enhancement in SOLIDWORKS 2023. To be fair, for those of you who want to stay a bit longer, this improvement has been added to the Watch New Document later, uh, on the assembly chapter. So if you go to assembly performance improvements, uh, there is the information here about assembly that contain parts with multiple imported bodies and body level appearances. Uh, they open faster than normal. So in a way, this is captured there, but obviously does not capture at the part level. And again, for those of you who want to um, take a look at uh, what happens if I insert this part inside an assembly, let me just close each and every one of these two windows and open just an assembly containing this part. So I have here an assembly that contains the part in 2022, same assembly containing the part in 2023. One thing to mention is that the file version of this files is actually SOLIDWORKS 2020, so it's even older. We're using exactly the same data set for both uh, tests. So let's open 2022 fully resolved, 2023 fully resolved, and, uh, and see the result. You can see how the display, uh, initial display was painted a little bit faster in 2023, even though I started the loading phase uh, as a second uh, step. So I started 2022 first, 2023 second. And you can see in this case, um, 2023, is having almost the same performance as opening the part in its own window. Can this part be further optimized? Depending on your use case, yes. We are covering that in the large assembly and drawing workshop. We can make this part to open in two seconds. It's gonna look pretty much exactly what you're seeing on the screen. It's just a matter of taking several steps in, in optimizing it. And you can see, at this point, the part is, is loaded. 
Again, I'm going to speed up the video going forward, so you don't have to wait until the 2022 version also opens its, uh, its file. Finally, the assemble opened in SOLIDWORKS 2022, and you can see how much slower that was. Um, first reason to upgrade to 2023 has been presented, and also this was the first undocumented improvement in SOLIDWORKS 2023. Stay tuned for the next two videos in this series. Thank you very much.